Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Felix and today we're going to be talking a little bit about what influences my style. So like to break down what kind of influences me, you can kind of do it into three different topics. It'd be people, brands and social media. So if I want to go in and go straight into people, I can name a number of people off the top of my head and reasons why um, they've influenced my style and what certain aspects they've influenced. So with the likes of YouTubers like Magnus Ronning and Jacob Wallace, they've definitely influenced like the more clean aesthetic style that I kind of like. So less brands, more like working on what matches, what looks cool together and how they all work as one and how an outfit is constructed very well. Magnus's style was very different to a lot of people. Of course, the whole beige trouser trends that I kind of want to try out. The same with Jacob. Obviously, he focuses on a lot more shorts and summer wear. So definitely for the upcoming months in summer, I definitely want to try that out. Continuing on for that sort of trend, you could go with the likes of Finn Wolfhard from Stranger Things. Things. I know he's quite young, um, but he's done a lot of photo shoots which are really interesting. Um, obviously, most recently I put one here where he's wearing some like retro Converse, I think, or Reeboks, I'm not too sure. Um, some stonewashed jeans and this gosher top, and it kind of reminded me a lot of the whole Jacob Wallace aesthetic and the sort of looks that he goes for. So I really like that, and I guess that influences me quite a lot. Moving on now to probably the most two obvious people that influence most people's style, that'd be ASAP Rocky and Ian Connor. Uh, I don't really have to say anything about ASAP Rocky, and again, I don't really have to say anything about Ian Connor, but obviously they've influenced a lot of trends over the past few years, and you can see in the future as well, they're gonna make a lot more, like the whole guest thing, Rocky brought that back. Same with Ian as well, like the reason why I kind of roll up my trousers is because of Ian. Like they, they've influenced a lot of trends and styles that have kind of come in and they're definitely going to influence my style and have influenced my style a lot in the past. Uh, next up is the main reason why I'm wearing chunky shoes and kind of Air Forces, and that is Travis Scott. Um, I really like his style. Um, it's a bit out there at times, but I like taking in influences from it, especially on the bottom half. Um, he likes to wear like Air Forces, but like baggy trousers that kind of go over the top of the shoe. And I kind of took that and kind of wanted to make it this year's style for me personally. like have the baggy silhouette trousers and it kind of reminded me a lot of Korean style and I kind of like that at the moment quite a lot so that's one thing I've definitely inf like introduced. Um, I also bought some like Balmain like cargo like jeans a couple of years ago that from Zara that kind of look well they're not look at like ones from Zara and um, he wears the actual Balmain ones in the Mama Sita music video and I kind of tried to recreate that outfit. Um, I didn't do that successfully because obviously every piece in that is like four or five hundred pounds more than what I could actually afford at the time. But I tried my best to create what I could and yeah, that, that definitely he's definitely influenced my style over the past few years and obviously his transition in style has, has been really good and I can't wait to see what he comes out with soon. And finally, to finish up, um, Tyler, the creator, has been an influence for me from the beginning. Um, he's the reason why I got into Supreme in the first place and the reason why I like wearing bright colours every now and then. Um, I normally go for like quite dark, like black and white, monotone sort of outfits all the time. Um, but this year, I want to involve a bit more colour. So, of course, I got his yellow golf Lafleurs. I changed out the laces to uh, orange because of the... I don't know, they just contrast really well. They look really cool. And I've also got the matching yellow hoodie. Um, and they work well together and I wear them in an outfit together. It's a bit bright, but it's worth a try. I just want to try it out because I like his way of color matching and designing and everything he does is really cool. I think the shoes are a lot more accessible because um, with the Vans, they didn't come out much in the UK, if at all, really. So the Converse are great. Next up, we're going to talk a little bit about the brands and stores that kind of influenced my style. So the likes of Hi Faith NK, which is like a Korean fashion house. They've really influenced my style right now at the moment. Um, a lot of stuff that I kind of want to try out is on that website. I'm going to order a few things in and do a big haul with that. So that'll come soon, I guess. Also stores like Ejde, um, their styling is really cool. And some of the brands they hold are actually, they're the only places in the country that actually hold them. For example, Misbehave, I really like. Um, I haven't got any pieces from them, but I hope to add the collection soon. As far as like the military aesthetic that I like to go for now and then with the cargoes and stuff, that's really directly influenced by M plus RC Noir or Martian Noir and C2H4 from LA. They both have that really like techwear style. I mentioned in my trends video actually, they have like that techwear military style and they kind of blend it in with the rest of the streetwear and it looks really cool. And I've kind of liked, liked that sort of aesthetic with the cargoes. And to be honest, the reason why I really want to try out track pants is because of Martian Noir. Their track pants look so good in a lot and obviously Ian Connor has worn those quite a few times and I really want to try it out just to see and the whole tactical vest thing as well that I want to try out that's thanks to Martian Noir. And finally to finish it up um, I guess Supreme which I don't like to admit but I like looking at the Supreme pieces that aren't 
heavy graphics that aren't and have supreme written across all over it because they do make some nice pieces i actually have the heart shirt here which is one of my favorite shirts of all time spring summer 16 i think oh 17 even whoa okay but yeah i like i like those sort of cut and sew pieces that they do and some of them are designed really well and you can incorporate into a lot of different styles i love the jeans that they do i love the like track pants they do the cargoes as well as the flight pants from last season they were my favorite piece from last season as well as the jacquard print puffy jacket that's it, I couldn't remember what it was. Yeah, that Jack Hopkins Profit jacket was so nice. I saw it in store and it felt so weird, but it looked really, really cool. And finally, to end it all off, um, social media is definitely a big influence of mine. Facebook groups like The Basement definitely have a lot of people putting their content on there. So their outfits, taking photos of it, what did you wear today? And seeing whatever people, other people are wearing, you kind of explore different trends and different ideas and styles. And it's really cool to see. So definitely taking a lot of influence from people there. That's why it's so good, because there's so many different people and so many different trends that you get to see a whole range of stuff. People come up with their own like designs and stuff, their own brands, which are really, really cool. And it's good to take influence from there. And I definitely have a lot of times. The basement is the main reason why I own Dickies and the Places Plus Faces bag. The Polo Ralph Lauren um, pajama bottoms, there's a reason there's they are the reason why i own half of my wardrobe to be honest because i see people wearing it and it looks really cool and finally to finish it all off i think everyone's like social media influence has got to be instagram i have nothing to say on instagram obviously everyone posts on it basically so it's a whole hub just to find influence creatively film wise um fashion wise art anything you can find on there and it's really interesting. So anyway, guys, let me know what your influences are down in the comments below. Um, leave a like, just let me know if you liked it. And I'll see you in the next video. See you later.